Dude, you key and Ada Fruit bring you on MPI every single week. This week is from Sensorion, Lady yes. Ada. Yes. What is Did the? Did you know that they're the sensor company? Uh, well, I do now. Yeah. Um, what is the Ion MPI this week? And uh, MPI stands for New Product Introduction. That's right. So what is it this week? This is a very new product. Uh, it's so new. Digikey has even featured it on their slash. It's so page. new. It's not out of stock yet. Well, global shortage. It's a little out of stock. Oh. But it's not completely out of stock. Right. Uh, did you buy some before we did this? Maybe. Okay. Uh, okay. So this week's I am NPI is the SCD40 and SCD41. These are adorable little uh, sensors from Sensirion, and these are true CO2 sensors. Um, Sensirion makes uh, some eCO2 sensors that are like effective CO2. Um, which they do by measuring a volatile organic compounds and they kind of like guess what the CO2 level is. This is a true CO2 sensor. It's actually measuring parts per million of uh, carbon dioxide in the air. Uh, you may be familiar because people a lot of times talk about uh, carbon dioxide, you know, on the planet. It, it, you know, it's, a, it's considered a greenhouse gas. Um, and usually people are only measuring carbon dioxide for maybe like, you know, like, oh, you're a ventilation engineer or you're doing like outdoor environmental science, but uh, they have really good timing because right now people really want CO2 sensors. We use them. Um, why? Because, um, you know, in the last year or so, a lot of um, epidemiologists and scientists, and in this case, a mechanical engineering professor said, hey, you know, for diseases that are passed by airborne transmission, um, you can use CO2 as a way of determining how much um, air circulation you have because uh, as you probably learned in grade school um, humans uh, like to take in oxygen out of the air and they expel carbon dioxide so over time if you have a closed house or, or room um, and you have a lot of humans in it like a workplace or a school you're going to see the co2 rise 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 um, now we can, we don't it, it's best to have low CO2, but humans are, as long as it's less than a thousand, you know, your, your body's totally fine with it. We can, we can handle that. Um, but you can, instead of just using it as a gauge of, of health, uh, like CO2 level for uh, breathability, um, outside is 400 ppm. And so as long as you keep the indoor at um, 600 or less, and here's a paper that was, uh, uh, written that is referred to by the article I just point, uh, posted to. Um, this is for a different disease. This is for um, tuberculosis. Uh, but they noted that they could stop the transmission as long as the CO2 was less than 600. Not because the CO2 had anything to do with TB, but because if you had low CO2, that means that there was enough air movement um, that air wasn't sitting around and, and people were bumping into these particles because the air was, was being evacuated out of the room and replaced with fresh air. Uh, so Sensirion, um, this is not their first rodeo when it comes to uh, CO2. They've had the, CO, the SCD30 for quite a while, uh, which you might, this looks very familiar. That's because we have a breakout for it. So this is a true CO2 sensor that uses NDIR um, IR light to determine um, IR so determine the CO2 parts per million. Um, it's a great sensor. One of our most popular guides that I think was just featured on Make Even uh, is uh, Carter's um, Pi Portal, uh, sorry, Matrix Portal CO2 um, like room detector, which is very simple and just says like a four little word like good, bad, worn. Um, the number, which is the CO2 level, in this case it's 782 parts per million, and then like a happy face or a frowny face. Uh, so very simple sensor. Um, but one thing that's, you know, not so awesome about the sensor is it's kind of big, and it's, it's through-hole soldering, so it's not easy to embed in small electronics, um, and it's not easy to automate production of it. Uh, so what's really cool is here's this diagram showing the size difference of the SCD40 versus the earlier SCD30. And you can see it's, I think they said it's seven times smaller uh, and, and all the way compact and on every size. And it's surface mount pick and placeable, which is wonderful. Um, so there's two versions of it. Oh, it's, it's a nice core seat sensor, so it's very easy to use. Um, and there's two versions. There's the SCD20, uh, sorry, the SCD40 which goes from 400 to 2,000 ppm. And then there's the SCD41, and it's a higher accuracy, 400 to 5,000 ppm. Now, use whichever works best, but 
for indoor, you know, CO2 measurement just for like humans, y you don't really need to know if it's over 2,000 because if it's over 2,000, that's, that's too high and you should tell them like lower it until it's less. Like you don't really care if it's 3,000 or 4,000, like it's all bad after 2,000. Um, so 400 to 2,000 is plenty. Um, but for some scientific purposes, um, a single shot mode is probably good for low power usage. The SCD41, it's going to be a little more expensive. Um, but has uh, a higher range. So, you know, pick and choose, but they're the same package so you can uh, hot swap whichever one you like. Uh, it's also available in R1 and R2. So there's four total part numbers. R1 is uh, 60 sensors per reel and R2 is a smaller reel. And R2 is a larger reel, probably like a, you know, just the reel size is a d is different uh, diameter. Uh, they also have a sensor bridge and a sensor breakout available, which we'll chat about in a minute. Um, and here's just something I thought was just so cool. So Sensirion already wrote uh, libraries for all these different platforms. And this is really wonderful because one of the things that makes me so bummed out is when a company is like, yeah, we wrote a driver, but it's only for our specific microcontroller, only for the compiler, like it's for a closed source compiler, closed source tool chain, you know, an ID that's just Windows only, and it's like very, very tied to the chip that, you know, we sell. It's like. We only have code for the MSP430 and like you can't use it with anything else. What's really nice about Sincerion is they wrote code for Raspberry Pi, um, I squared C, embedded C, and Arduino, as well as make code. So it's like you could even have students build projects with this and use it with make code with drag and drop programming, which I think is super awesome. Yep. Um, so I will say at the time of this writing, there's no actual sensors in stock as they are sold out. It wasn't just me, by the way. Other people bought them too. However, I did notice the, the lead time for getting more is about a month, so you could definitely get them on back order. Um, but what I did see was in stock was this dev kit. Um, so it's a little breakout board with like a JSTPH. It's probably Grove compatible and there's also breakouts. And so yeah, this is actually pretty good because it's not much more expensive than just the sensor and you can plug and play it um, with a Raspberry Pi or, or Arduino because it comes with headers and everything. Um, they even have a video showing it, and then, of course, just run that code. It's just I2C, so you connect up power, ground, clock, and data. Um, one of the um, things that they mentioned they wanted me to make sure people knew is that the power supply, you want to make sure it's a nice, quiet power supply. So if you're running this off of a Raspberry Pi, use, like, the 3-volt supply, not the 5-volt supply, because it's a little bit uh, less noisy, because the noise does affect um, the reading. It's available on DigiKey. That's right. It's in stock. So search for SCD41 sensor. Uh, and this is in stock right now. So you can go and pick it up and it will ship today or tomorrow. Yeah, here's a short URL. Short it's URL. There, and then there's the. Yeah, it's backwards. There's the. Uh, there's what you look for. There. But you can just type in SCD41. And then if you want the, just the sensors itself, search for SCD40 or SCD41 and you can sign up or back order. And we have a video. A video. And then when you come back, I'm going to show on the overhead the demo. Monitoring CO2 can increase your cognitive performance, reduce the risk for viral infection, and make our building more energy efficient. This is why Sensiron developed a miniaturized CO2 sensor with the mission to break the size barrier for CO2 sensors. Hi, my name is Marco, and I am very excited to present the SCD 4X evaluation kit and how it can be used to easily evaluate our revolutionary CO2 sensor. Compared to its predecessor, the SCD 4X is seven times smaller. It is SMD, thus allowing for cost-effective assembly. It allows for adjustable power consumption and offers many more great features. Now, this technological breakthrough is enabled through Sincerion's patented PA Sense technology that is based on the. Okay. okay. So you want to show this off? I do. So this is the earlier SCD30, and this is it. You know, mounted onto this uh, uh, this Pi Portal project, which is uh, super cool. And then um, this is. Hold on, turn it upside down gently. Thank you for being patient, my new demo setup. So this is a Feather M4, and I just really loaded up, uh, oh, it says SCD30, it should say 40. Sorry about that. You can tell I took my old demo and updated it for the uh, SCD40. And this is a little breakout that I made, but the one that they sell is almost the same, and you can see how small that sensor is. This is a Teflon cover just to protect it. Um, and you can decan if you want inside, there's like a chip and, and the, the sensing element. 
Um, so you can see inside right now, it's about 600 ppm. That's normal um, for indoors. And then if I breathe on it, um, measurements get taken about every five seconds. Uh, so you'll see the CO2 uh, slowly rise up as the CO2 gets absorbed in. So there you go. So that's, that's normal. So as you breathe on it, you, know, you have a lot of CO2 in your lungs. Um, and then over the next minute or two, this will slowly drift down. Another thing is, by the way, it has a built-in humidity and temperature sensor as well, used to compensate the sensor, but it means that you can, you know, this very small uh, little box can be used for um, all sorts of environmental sensing projects because it does kind of everything for you. So that's the SCD40. All right, and that's this week's Ion MPI. Hi, on MPI.